As you might imagine, the book of Ruth is the story of Naomi. Few books in the Old Testament better demonstrate that the Old Testament is a signpost pointing to the Messiah that would come to redeem his people, the Israelites. In this book, Ruth, who is in a difficult spot, marries Boaz from the tribe of Judah, who becomes her knight in shining armor. Of course, that was before they invented shining armor, but you get the idea. The book of Ruth is a love story. It's a history book, a genealogy, a tale of true loyalty, a drama, and a nonfiction allegory foreshadowing the coming of the Messiah. Why, it's practically a whole library, all on its own, which is pretty impressive for a book that is, after all, only four chapters long. Thanks to a famine in their land, Naomi and her husband Elimelech and their two sons leave their home in Bethlehem and move to Moab to find some water, grow some crops, eat some food. Sounds reasonable. Once there, Elimelech dies, leaving Naomi a widow with two sons who marry Orpah and Ruth. Ten years later, both sons die. According to Jewish tradition, a woman who is widowed with no son loses the family property, unless a close relative known as a kinsman redeemer marries her and keeps the property in the family. Naomi returns to Bethlehem, and Ruth, who could have stayed in Moab and remarried, refuses to leave Naomi's side. Once back in Bethlehem, Ruth begins to collect welfare the Jewish way by working in the grain fields. She just happens to start working in the field of Boaz, who just happens to notice her, who just happens to be a close relative of Naomi. Boaz tells his workers to let Ruth take more than the normal amount of grain, which she does. Returning to Naomi with so much grain, Ruth tells Naomi how nice Boaz was, and realizing that Boaz just happens to be a kinsman redeemer, Naomi hatches a plan. <laughs> Ruth throws herself at his feet, literally, as per tradition. Boaz ties up a few loose ends, marries Ruth, who just happens to come with a built-in mother-in-law-in-law, -in -law, and redeems the family property. As it turns out, Ruth and Boaz just happen to be the great-grandparents of King David, and it just happens to be from the line of David that the Messiah will come. Could all of that really be coincidence? Sounds like a plan to me. Thank you.